That's what I told him. I am no Jedi. So you say, but you keep remnants of your past life. Your ship, your droid, your weapons and holovids of your master. You still consider yourself a Sith after you basically told them to leave you alone and worked for another organization and kissed its leader. Same logic, no? It's hilarious that you brought that up. It is true I am not that popular amongst my fellow Sith, but that is not to say I do not draw upon some common teaching and philosophy, albeit with a slight variance in interpretation. That alone makes you all the more different from those nasty red blade wielders. I don't think you should be calling yourself that. You're too kind to be associated with any of them. Sith are all selfish and evil, a blight upon the galaxy. There is no way you should be walking around the streets like that. Oh, there is much you have yet to learn, darling. Being a Sith does not necessarily mean I have the desire to kill as those you have encountered do. It is about power and wielding the Force. And I don't mean by obsessive control and usurping authority, but fostering strength and cooperation. Isn't that more of a Jedi thing? You grow in knowledge and power as you continue to foster your connection to the Force and its will. I don't follow the Force. I wield it as a weapon, much like your blade. And since you do claim to follow the will of the Force, is it not then a fact that you are a Jedi despite little connection with the larger order? I don't know, maybe. But I am not going to call myself a Jedi after my past experiences with them. And yet you are ready to train your next... Padawan. Odd, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've been riding too many wolves like a cowboy these days. There are two types of Jedi. Ones that are such fun to tease, and ones who need some kind of asylum. Anyways, the point is, I've moved on from my life within the Order. I'm just here to see what the galaxy has to offer. A new and exciting path, perhaps? Fair enough. There are always new and exciting things coming around. I do get a bit whimsical when change is afoot. But sometimes the familiar faces and events just always seem to pop by. Don't they? It's already hard to keep up with the ever-changing galaxy, but it's even better if we make some good cameos, too. I certainly won't mind some nicely done ones, but it does get a little boring. Maybe inserting some new characters will do the job, too? Certainly, but I'll be the judge of the final product, not the characters themselves. Another objective Star Wars fan? Yay! 